So we are here this weekend at the Gravity Show um, in Coventry. We're here at the Driftwick stand with my S15 and the new work wheels. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna have a walk around, like the Jack Fest thing, gonna waffle on, have a look at some wheels. Luckily, thankfully, I've searched it out already. Some really cool cars here. Um, sorry for the camera being this close to my face. Um, it's a car show, so there's really annoying music that's been played really loudly. What are you gonna do? So here we are at Coventry, the Gravity Automotive Show. Um, it's a massive tuna show for low stance-esque cars, I guess you could say. So we're running a drift work stand here. Um, we've got my S15 on, on its new Workmeister L1 wheels. So these are 18 by 9.5 ET minus 5 fronts and 18 by 10.5 minus 30 rears. So I've gone for the, um, the brush slip um, here, gold bolts and the white face, which is, I, I didn't want polish, I wanted something quite matte. I'm not a big, I use this car as much as I can and polished, although it's lovely, it's hard work to keep clean. So yeah, I've gone for nice, nice pot, um, brush slip here. Then we've also got a 350Z, um, on HSD Monopros, uh, Workmeister, S1Rs. It's cool, it's got um, Nardis and, and that sort of stuff. Right? We've also got a selection of steering wheels, um, steering wheels and work wheels on show, and some, and some NRG, some NRG goodness. Look around the show, point out some 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 of our customers um, on their work wheels. And yeah, any questions? Let us know. So here we have a 370 Z on Gnosis CB 201s. Um, so this is um, one of the more rare work colours. So this is in the code. It's HP HPG, which is like a really light shade of bronze. Don't know if you can see it on here. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's a really unusual colour. Uh, works really well against the white. Um, so this is the big brake um, face. So it's the flatter spokes and enough, enough brake clearance there. And then on the rear is the deep concave spokes. Yeah, real cool. Ah, so we're here at the. There's Adam. <laughs> Hello. Six two one zero. That's what I call it, 6201. Where's the Everybody says that. 6201. 6201. 6621. Six, six, <laughs> there we go. Bye. There we go. It's Elliot, and we're at the wonderful Lycower stand. And his wonderful 350Z. So this is the first set of Meister L1s in Europe. Um, what were the sizes? Um, 19 by 10 and a half, and 19 by 12 in the rear. So yeah, 19 by 12. Can I borrow your camera real quick? No. Rich, are you excited to be here today? No. <laughs> what do you mean no? I love car shows. That's... Well, you, you've got a show car, so I would assume you I do. I don't have a show car, it's my <laughs> daily. It just happened to... You're here uh, promoting Driftworks, Driftworks and today. the work wheels, yeah. which you're going to see plenty of. A lot around. Have you... Me, yeah, I'm taking over the Driftworks <laughs> vlog. No, I'm, I'm now a Driftworks vlogger. So we've got some drift cars over here on the Honda stand. Pretty cool. Why do you have drift cars on a Honda stand? Because I prefer drifting. <laughs> but I've got a Honda, look. This is a Honda. So, A86, S2000, running gear, and it's on trumpets as well, pretty cool. And then the coolest thing is, on the valve cover, he welded in on the so is F20C. This the tw an FC20 then? F20C. F20C. Yeah, and That's then close. in here, we go in here. Get on the dials. S2000 dials too. Ooh. Pretty cool. So uh, yeah. I did not know that. So I'll hand you back to Rich now. Thank you, young man. So before I was rudely interrupted, yeah, this is Josh's 350Z, real good static. So he drives here, here, this. But lovely, lovely car, great guy, really love his work. Buy his stuff. Next car on Josh's like hell stand is Michael's amazing LS. Real good on Durandals. Uh, these are 20s with the flat lip. DD 5.2 works really, really well. Um, 
I just love this car. I love, like you might have seen in my Waffly Jackfest video, I love big VIP barges and this is exactly it. It's really good. It's really good. And then Jordan's um, Mazda RX-7. So this is, I think this is one of the first proper Rocket Bunny kits in the UK. Um, and me and the previous owner that Jordan bought this from, but Jordan bought this as an unfinished project. And me and the other guy spent a long time working out the wheel fitments for this. And as you can tell, it looks perfect. It's on air now. It was originally designed um, for coilovers. Um, but either way, like, it's so good. I do love Meisters. Here we have a Ravalp Porsche. Um, and again, with most of the Ravalp cars, at least the ones built in Japan and some of the ones built here, all on work Meisters. So these are S1s on the front. Um, those who don't know, Porsches don't actually take very big wheels on the front. So um, you're, norm you're normally looking around like an eight and a half with an offset around 50. So yeah, this is definitely, definitely not that. And then on the rear, just again, massive, massive wheels. Massive Meisters. Gloss black, black bolts, polish lip. Real cool, real big. Rocket Bunny G36 on work Meister S1. And those that, that know the S1s, they don't have centre caps, so this guy's part team dynamic centre caps in the middle. And R35 GTR on the VSs, so the VSXX. Uh, 20 inch matte black centre, flat bolt, and step lift as well, so not the normal flat. Unfortunately, this car is on air, but hey ho. Another car on air, but has good fitting wheels. Alex Heard, E46, Meisters again. So he's got white centres, the blue decals, and gold box. So this S13 I spotted yesterday is well with it's um, left hand drive. Driving on the wrong side. Your steering wheel's on the wrong side. What? Your steering wheel is on the wrong side. No, for me it's the right side. Uh, I'm from Norway. Ah, uh, from Norway, very yeah. cool. Have you come all the way just for this? Uh, yeah, mostly. Uh, yeah. We've been to racism last weekend, so we went here this weekend. Ah, uh, okay, come along. It's really, really nice. Thanks. Really good, good colour. Thank you. Excellent. Are these custom painted or are they from the factory that colour? The oh, that's actually a factory finish. Factory finish, yeah. Excellent. So, yeah, so this is the gloss bronze lip, white centre, gold bolts. Massive, massive. That's real cool. But it works really well with the, with the bronze and the paint as well. Just wish people would be more daring with colours in the UK. So, this is Jesse's um, Rocket Bunny IS250. Stunt show last year. Um, some of you may remember. So he's still running the VSs, but for this year he's had them refurbed to matte black centres and um, um, matte bronze lips. There's a nice little trend on that. Evo 9, I'm guessing. One of the latest CT9A Evos. Um, wide body on work Meister M1R. So this is um, matte bronze centres with a gloss bronze lip. These are, I think, from money order. I think they're 18 by 10 and a half, like with a minus 40 offset. Around that, really, 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 really big. That's a hero. Um, on Wood Monsters again. So this is the burning black centers with black bolts and polish lip. BMW 92. Um, on Wood S1. It seems to be a winning, winning combo. And he's got the work blue wheel nuts for these as well. I really like this. I reckon it'll be a majestic place to be. Again, S14 on S1 eyes. So this is flat silver two finish with a polish look. So these are the two piece wheels, so you can have any offset you want. So Goodish fitment on that. Super impressive, four kind. Um, on work D9R. Fortunately, another car on air, but hey ho. Ah, so Curly's um, Mark II MX-5. So this is quite unusual for an MX-5, it's running 17s. But it allows him to run this low. I think it's really good, these are the XSA 04Cs. Um, standard crystal silver scent polish look. So here we have 
Damien's um, aesthetic on the Status Era stand by all your merch and apparel. So these are running 17, 18 Stagger 279s bronze. And here we have Hey, oh, oh, hey. Oh, 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 all the kids. All this. Specialist insurance for your pride and joy. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a cool little MX-5 that me and Ross spotted on our travels yesterday on work CIO ones. But look at this engine bay. Like, where is all the wires? Crazy. We have a little looper. S1 two piece. Little matte black sensors, gloss black lip. The um, S14 on work monster. This one's had quite a bit of work done to the rear arches, so um, aftermarket fenders on here. You get a massive dish. It's getting FS2 sensors with polished lips, silver box. So we are back from Gravity. It's been um, a really, really good show. We really enjoyed it. Thank you everybody that came up to the Driftwick stand, had a look at the car and its new wheels, had a look at some of the steering wheels and the and the mega rig. So that's it for this vlog. Um, hopefully my waffling has not, um, not bored you again. Um, and as always, like, subscribe, any questions, let us know, and we will be happy to answer them. Um, stay tuned for next week. Um, because I've got no idea what's coming. So Phil's back, and so hopefully dramas, antics, and, and more interesting things than my waffly voice. See ya. Burnouts. 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 Maybe in this. Maybe in this.